plenty of options besides marrying me. He could have... He could have taken off and gone into hiding. He could have plea bargained oh. and served time in prison, but he didn't do any of those things. He stayed right here, faced the charges, and beat them. Then he asked me to marry him because he feels safe with me. You're so out of your mind. He's never trusted you, Brenda. He's never been safe with you. He knows that I will love him, take care of him, be the mother of his children. We've discussed all of it. He's made up his mind. He's made his choice. And I suggest that you come to terms with it. If you had any guts at all, you'd go to him and you'd ask him what he said to me when he came to my bedroom the other night. He told me that I'm the only woman he loves. And that I'm the only woman he'll ever love. I have to ask you to leave now. Wow, you just have no desire to hear the truth, do you? Why don't you go ask him, Lily? Go be a woman and ask him who he loves. Ask him! Enough, Brenda! Sonny... No, no, I said it's enough. Go home. I can't believe this is it. This is the thing that you were trying to tell me the other night. This is the promise that you made that you can't break. This is what's keeping you and I apart. Did you hear me? Yeah, I, I heard you when you told me that you loved me. No, no, no. What I told you was to stay away from me and stay away from here. Now, I'm telling you, go home now. This is so sick, you know that? So sick, and you know it's not going to work out. Sorry. You don't have to apologize for her. I should have never let her in. I have things to do. Lily. <clears throat> you need to ask me anything. No. Well, I have. I got. I got to say something. Whatever she told you. Let it go, because it doesn't affect us. Yes, it does. But only for today. Now. What I feel today... is... the joy of being with you. The pleasure your company gives me. My desire... to take care of you. Those are feelings that won't change. Sonny, how are you? I'm oh, very well, thank you. How about yourself? Curious, since you're calling on the encrypted line. I assume it's not about my health or uh, the weather here in San Juan, which, by the way, is glorious. That's good, that's good. You may be getting a visit from us soon. Well, I look forward to it. In the meantime, how can I help you? I understand there was an attempt to silence an associate of mine. I was wondering if you can shed any light on that. It seems to me that when someone takes the responsibility for your safety and well-being, part of that responsibility includes eliminating potential threats and leaks. Well, I, I appreciate the intent, but the actions themselves can cause greater harm. How so? Increasing speculation. Drawing attention of the police. What I, what, what I was hoping for was a little peace in Port Charles for the time being, but what may have been perceived as a threat to me is something I already have my eyes on. It's in check at the moment. Are you certain? Yeah, and, and as a matter of fact, you know, I'm a little reluctant to have orders issued on my behalf that I wouldn't do myself. Now, you listen to me, young man. 
We agreed that I would take care of things. I want you to relax and enjoy yourself. Enjoy your new freedom. Concentrate on making my daughter a happy woman. I'll handle the other aspects until we've determined that it's safe for you to return to your position. It's just not that simple. Yes, it is, Sonny. All you have to do is let go. Do you understand? Of course. Give my love to Libby. Buenas noches, padrino. Your father sends his love. Thanks. He's never trusted you, Brenda. He's never been safe with you. He knows that I will love him, take care of him, be the mother of his children. You discussed all of it. He's made up his mind, he's made his choice, and I suggest that you come to terms with it. A few uh, of Stone's things I couldn't bring myself to go through last time. So I figured, you know, I'd get it done today. Bite the bullet, just plunge in, right? And I found this. It's for Rob. It's for Robin. Stone meant for us to have it after he died. I'm sorry. I wish I could make everything better. I know you do. I gotta, I got I'm gonna, uh, I gotta bring this to Robin. I'm, I'm gonna get, I'll get the door. Okay. Hello? I'm still alive. I was wondering if you've had the chance to find out whether that's by design or accident. May I come in? Thank you. Hello, Lily. Damien. Uh, you have business to do, so I'll be upstairs. Excuse me. Well trained. Shut up about her. Don't oh, cool it, Sonny. I meant no disrespect. It was merely an observation. Then don't observe her. You understand what I'm saying? She has nothing to do with our business. Whatever that may be, I'm still not clear. I'm still in one piece, which suggests that you have uh, talked to your friends on my behalf. Obviously. Well, I am very impressed, Sonny. Mm. Very impressed. You either called in a lot of chips, or you have found yourself suddenly in a position of great power. Right. It, the more I think about it, the more it starts to add up. You have this mysterious benefactor that comes through with your bail to the tune of, what was it, $5 million? And now the grand jury doesn't indict on what appears to be a classic open and shut case. And Lily is your constant companion, so... You know, I'd hazard a guess that you have thrown in with her father. Actually, I'm considering early retirement. Right. Yeah. Uh, well, I have a nice bridge to sail if you're interested. Well, see, that's just it. I'm not, so let's cut to the chase. I mean, you know, not that I don't find these little circle games fascinating, mm -hmm. but the problem is my attention span is kind of small now. So if you've got a point, let's get there. It's always the blunt approach with you, is it? That's right. All right. Whether you are retiring or expanding, what I need to know is whether or not you have managed to bring me in out of the cold or whether I need to keep looking over my shoulder. I did the best I could. At the very least, I bought you some more time. More than you had a few days ago. Indeed. Time. It's a precious commodity.